You're watching KHQA's Tri-States This Morning. Well, I'm sure that you have all heard of Little House on the Prairie, and this weekend, that comes to life on a stage in Hannibal. Alora Ingalls Wilder Christmas, Peggy Northcock, Director of the Hannibal Community Theater. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend at the play, and next weekend too? Yes, that's right, both, both weekends. Well, this is a story that was written by um, a young um, artist who took the story from Laura's autobiography and her journals, but it's an area of the or time of the, in the family's life when she, that she never chose to write about in the books. The, um, they had lost their farm because of the locusts, which had happened to many people at that period of time, and um, their baby, her baby brother died. And so it was just a devastating time for the family, and it was something that she just didn't feel like putting in her books, apparently. But it's also a period of time that is, has an important message for all of us, especially in the economic times that we're in right now. So that's why we chose to, to do this. A little more drama than we usually do, not, not a laugh it up comedy kind of thing. Sure. And also I'm going to have you elaborate a little bit more on how you feel for children in today's society how important it is for them to learn about the times, you know, in this in this part of our history. Well, that's been pretty obvious in working with the young people who are, are the actors in the show because I've had to explain things to them that that they don't understand, and I've had to work on uh, what little girls would have talked like and acted like. And Which at seems the time. much different than what it is now. Oh yes, very different, mm -hmm. very different. I think it's important for people to realize how you can get through adversity and how important it is to be uh, tender with your family and how important family is. So that's, that's really the, the really big underlying theme of this is, is in hard times, in good times, whatever, family is what counts the most. Perfect. And when, when can they see it? What time? Um, where are the tickets? Tickets are available. We don't actually have pre-sale tickets, but okay. we do take reservations. We suggest reservations and the number for reservations is 573 Seven nine five seven three eight eight. That's actually my personal cell phone. Okay. So. And is there a website where they can go to yes. learn more as well? www.hannibalcommunitytheater.org, but spell theater with an R E on the end instead of E R. Oh, okay. And you'll be fine. Thank or you can Google us. Okay. And, can, can and what else is going on for the rest of next year with the theater? Any upcoming plans? We um, we plan to do in April a. Uh, uh, for the 100th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic, we want to do a Titanic-based play. Okay. We haven't for sure picked out which play we're going to do. There's, we've discovered that there are a lot of them available. I am sure that we can get that information closer to time and we can oh, share yes. it with our viewers. Absolutely. Wonderful. So December 2nd, 3rd, 9th, and 10th at 7.30 p.m. at St. John's Lutheran School Auditorium. Okay. And then we have Sunday matinees on the 4th and the 11th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for students, the students under 18. Under 18, okay. Yes. Wonderful. And that goes all the way down to infants, is the same? Yes. Okay, perfect. Right. Peggy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we look forward to being there this weekend and hopefully our viewers too. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, we're going to head over to Trent.